Contrary to popular belief, even in these modern times, many individuals still want the purchase of their vehicles in the showroom. According to a recent study, 84% of female buyers want to buy their car in person. Remarkably, this number also includes millennials. So even though technology seems to reign supreme, people still want somewhat of a traditional vehicle buying customer experience. However, there are some shifts dealers can make to cut away the inefficiencies to lift sales. Here are some tried and true ways to give her the experience she desires. Pull instead of push. While many of us think the first step in the buying process is the initial meeting between the customer and the dealer, the process starts much earlier. The 2016 Auto Trader Car Buyer Study revealed that 88% of customers use the internet to research a car before purchasing it. This means they're spending much more time pre-buying and pursuing third-party sites as well as ones owned by dealerships. Instead of using commercialized ads to push them to a sale, dealers should try having user-friendly and informative VDP pages along with blogs that are SEO-friendly to pull them to the website. Who's waiting at the door? Are they being greeted by a salesperson ready to push a sale or a consultant who is prepared to ask questions to give them the car that they need for their current situation? Customers want to feel like they can trust the person who's selling them the car. This means asking questions about their monthly payment budget. What are they going to use the car for? How many family members will ride in it? And even informing them of potential interest rate changes so they can make an informed financial decision. You want to embrace convenience. It is easy for staff who are helping with the sale to find vehicles for customers. Can they pull up pricing and vehicle history information about a car before going to view it? Whether it be using an iPad or mobile phone, staff should have the information at their fingertips. A customer's time is precious, and being able to access a car in a well-organized lot quickly show that the dealership cares about efficiency. The faster the process, the more likely customers can be open to a sale. Provide dependable and speedy Wi-Fi connections. There's two reasons for this. The first is offering customers the ability to take care of work, check emails, or even catch a show on their phone or laptop while they wait. The second is that they can also serve as a great way for customers to have the opportunity to use mobile phones to compare pricing, find trade-in values, and conduct additional research on the features of the vehicles that they're interested in. Customers want the convenience to use technology to ensure they're getting the best possible deal. Shorten the purchasing process. This may seem like an impossible task, but dealers have to figure out a way to shorten the car buying process. According to the Auto Trader study, buyers are the least satisfied with the length of the purchasing process. Also, according to Digital Marketing Agency, that agency satisfaction declines after 90 minutes. Dealers should look for any possible way to cut down on idle waiting time. Asking questions can save time because the answers can direct staff only to show customers the vehicles that they desire. Dealerships can also save time by allowing customers to fill out the finance information ahead of time. Add a digital edge to your F&I process. After the purchasing process itself, F&I was the next process that customers are the least satisfied with during the car buying experience. The endless paperwork, the anxiousness of the credit check process, and the lack of understanding about finance products can drain customers. Dealers can increase the likelihood of a sale by allowing customers to enter the financial information online to shorten the process significantly. Second, have a detailed description of F&I products online that include their benefits can diminish the time the F&I staff need to take to explain it. Add an educational component to the test drive. Information from AutoTrader indicated that 88% of car buyers would not purchase a car without a test drive. This event creates a valuable opportunity for dealers to give customers exactly what they're looking for to increase the trust. The data from AutoTrader also revealed that buyers are looking for a more educational process during the test drive instead of one where they feel like the staff is more focused on selling. 
the study specifically mentioned using a product specialist to inform interested consumers about the features of the car and answer any questions they may have. Provide opportunities for feedback and make a point to act on them. Dealers should allow time for feedback from car buyers concerning their purchase experience. Send a survey right away after the sale or non-sale. And that survey should ask questions that enable the customers to address how much time the process took, how satisfied they were with the outcome, and any suggestions for what the dealership could do better in the future. Dealers should let customers know that they read their requests and even update them on the process to implement it. Nothing keeps customers coming back for their next vehicle or service appointment more than knowing that dealers care about their opinions. My final thoughts. There is a strong correlation between customer satisfaction and loyalty. When dealers recognize that customers are looking for an experience that puts their needs first, as well as emphasizes education and consultation, instead of that sell, sell, sell approach, dealers are more likely to turn initial interest into loyalty. The path to increased sales and referrals is through providing a stellar customer experience that gives potential car buyers precisely what they need.